Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to look at uh, this previous question paper that was written on the 8th August 2020, uh, 2019. Uh, question 4. I want us to look at question 4. Question 4 of this one. So they are saying. Figure 4 below shows a common central sphere connection. This is a common central sphere connection. So this is the view that we are given. So we are we are required to draw the given front view, the line of penetration, the development of the pattern marked A and the development of the pattern marked B. And this is expected to draw to be drawn at a scale of 1 is to 2 at the scale of 1 is to 2 so now the very first thing that I'm gonna do we are going to draw the diameter 120 so it's going to be 120 120 divided by 2 divided by 2 16 60 divided by 2 so that we we get the radius 60 which means we are drawing this for it we open it to 30 so that you draw diameter 60 so i draw i can I draw diameter 60 here diameter 60 so from here to here 60 I can have this and can have the vertical center line now from here going up I can have 20 millimeter from there I project this circumference up this one up so now I can have this one solid so that's the bottom part of your front view that's this one from here to here so now from here going up we are told there is a height of 60 divided by 2, which means it's 30. It's 30 there, it's, it's that 30. Remember, we are using a reduction scale of 1 is to 2. So from here till there is 60. So divide by 2 is giving us what? It's giving us a, a 30. And that one, there is a center of this uh, other pipe that is joined at an angle of uh, of uh, 90 degrees. So I can have this one just a little bit long coming this side. You understand? Then from there, I can now see would you, from here to here, let me look at it so the dimension from here to here we are not given uh, okay so we are going to draw a diameter 60 so it's going to be 60 divided by 2 you are getting 13 eh? and 30 divided by 2 because of the radius you are getting 15 so take your drawing numbers you open it to 15 millimeter this is my 15 millimeter then I come here then I draw this 15 millimeter faint you understand so we are not given the dimension from here to your apex point everyone we are not given that one but then by having this we can have a what that apex point so now I am going to have this faint draw a line 
touching the circumference of the cycle this tangent that it will just touch there but starting from me once it's touched that vertical line of yours you can stop so even this side there you go you throw this line faint so we've gotten this height already from here till the it has already came out for itself you understand so now i can come let's see the length let's see the length from here till here are we given okay we are told that is at the same line is this one you understand so I will, we will just extend this just a little bit and then and this one the side and this one the side so then we can have an auxiliary view of it this side now get the vertical center of it so now and you see that there is another pipe that is coming vertical so we have to consider that one but to that point we've already gotten it isn't it this point we've already gotten it So this point, which is this one. So now I am going to take the circumferences of this side cycle going up. So which means I can further extend this just a little bit. Do I have to? No, I don't. Even if I don't. Because I, they are not looking for the for the, uh, uh, for the uh, uh, development of this one, you understand? So even if I don't get the auxiliary there, you understand? So it's going to be solid like this, which is this one, understand? Then solid from here till there, from here, we go from here we go so now we've gotten the outer but so there we go even here can have it dark all right so this is what we have now <laughs> So now we uh, we have to get that this line of penetration, this one, this line of penetration. So now to get that, we are going to divide the circle into two equal part, as well as this one of the of the cone. Let's start with this one of the cone. is this one there you go there you go right so we are going to project these points once they touch the bottom part of your front view they are supposed to go to a apex point there of this coin pipe Right, so even this one, it goes, and this one, it goes, even this one, it goes. So once it touch there, they are expected to go up there to apex point. There it goes. There you go. So this one is already there. 
को लाइक दिस वी गो सो नाउ लेट मी फेयर द एक्सटेंड दिस वर्टिकल सेंटर लाइन जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट सो नाउ लेट मी गेट द ऑक्सिडल ऑफ दिस वन इट विल बी द सेम So let me throw it far, a little bit up there. Throw it up there, so that I am going to have to get the what the the development of this cone. So now I can have this. And this. Let me see the development of the cone. Is it going to come? Place your compass at your apex point. Further extend it to the point. This one. And there you go. Yes, it's coming. Okay, it's gonna fit. So it's okay. Was I was forcing my development to be on top of this front view here so that I project clear lines you understand so that auxiliary of this one so I am going to divide it into 12 equal parts as well before I number the points let me divide all of them into 12 equal parts there you go And there you go. So get an exit point there. So this one is corresponding to this point, and this one corresponding with this point. There one. Then from there, what is going to happen? So if I decide to make a point zero here. Which means on this one, the point zero is supposed to be right here. You understand? So that where they collide, they give me point zero. You understand? So let me see. Then is it gonna come? So there it goes. Take it vertically down. In this side. Where they meet is my point. I've got in the first point, so which means I'm going to say zero here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a zero here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to zero. So a point one with a point one, you understand? Uh, so now point two with the tenth side, and then wide side goes down like this so a two there it goes down must intersect with the two of this side so we've got a point there and a three which is the center remember they are intersecting at an angle of 90 degrees this two because this angle is again 90 degrees that is why here we have to get a straight line there of the same diameter at an angle of 90 degrees so the three and the three is uh, that the um, three that goes 
and my mind is tired this one that goes okay so we're supposed to get a point three there but bear it in mind Uti, we were told Uti, there is a what a line going straight like this so this line from from which point from this one this point which is that one isn't it so i'll make it a little bit like this you understand so once it's like this so as much as we were ahead to point three which is this one so then since it has a straight line so we going to go get it once you touch that line of yours then you stop stop here so which which point is this one it's now giving you this point you understand so from here to here it's this one from here to here so which means you can come back here to have this one solid now that's how we are getting that point so now to go to point four to point four which is this one actually point four is now going out of 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 this pipe so which means right from this point we will, we will be going back to what to point 10 trace point 10 uh, point 10 and point 11 back to zero you understand so so we, we're going to have this point point 10 is in the same line with point two so as much as they go down it's going to be in the same line with point four so there it is so there it is so we are going to give to get a point here 